Hello and welcome to another happy mailbag. Hi, I'm Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and each week I show you how you can make cards and other crafty projects because if I can make it, you can too. So I've got all these nice little um, swap letters sitting here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead, go through those with you. Let you see what my buddies have sent over to me as part of our swaps. These are all a bunch of really talented folks over on my group, Crafting with Debbie, and over in the <coughs> Boiling Snobs Club. So let me go ahead and start opening these up. This first one is from Miss Jeannie Ellis. You probably know her as Scrapbooking Mama here on YouTube. So let me see what we've got here. Oh, that is just precious. A good friend changes everything. And she also added some goodies on the inside for me. Oh, you are such a sweetheart, Miss Jeannie. So we've got some die cut tags and a <laughs> little mermaid. I love mermaids. This is so cool and all ready for summer. So thank you so much for all of that, Miss Jeannie. You didn't have to add all of that, but that was super sweet of you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, the next one we have is from Miss Kim Dixon. This is another one from the Crafting with Debbie group. And if you're wondering why I'm moving things all over the place, it's because I don't want to show any of the addresses of these folks so I can keep their privacy. So she sent me a slimline card and I believe I saw the video on this. Miss Kim Dixon does have a, um, a, a YouTube channel and if I recall correctly, these are stamps from um, May May Made It. She said that she did start her own cha YouTube channel in February, and she's also part of the design team for May May Made It. So be sure to check out her channel. I will leave a link down below so you can take a look at that, and a link to this video, that because like I said, I, I did see the card being created, and she was doing an awesome job. She's got glossy accent on all of the windows so that they've got that shine stamped on the back with her name. This is super cute. So thank you so much, Miss Kim. Next we have Liz. Turn that over. This is Liz Ellis. And let me get that open for you guys. And this is a celebrate card. Uh, you're a great reason to celebrate and looks like it is a trifold and it's not wanting to oh, oh okay there's a there's a little clip thing there wishing you an awesome birthday so this one is a birthday card so thank you so much for that and again that was Liz Ellis and next we have Miss Camille Actually, I take that back. We have Janice McCall, and hers is in bubble wrap, which means I need to grab my scissors to get this one open. And hers is also all packaged in plastic, and she sent me two cards. So this one is a pretty birthday card. It's got some ribbon on there. That is nice. Cute little butterfly. And it has an envelope as well. Nice ribbon on there. That is so pretty. And she does do the lining on the envelope. So that is super nice. And then this one looks like this one is probably a, <coughs> a foilable. So she's got a foil, foiled sentiment on the front. Gratitude is what we have. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. And that is super pretty. Thank you so much, Miss Janice. Thank you so much for that. All these pretty wrapped ones. Of 
course, when they're in plastic, it means that I try not to actually touch them that much. These are just so, so lovely. Thank you so much. And then next we have also from the Crafting with Debbie group is going to be Miss Camille Ernst. She's got it sealed on the back with washi tape. Now let's see what she sent. Oh, that is pretty. You know, I'm, I'm not real good with florals, but I'm working on it. So when someone does a floral on the side like that and does goes through all the trouble of coloring it all, this is just lovely. It just, it amazes me. I believe this is all some iridescent watercolor. And this looks so, so, so pretty. FYI, I used Gonzi Tumby Opal watercolors to paint the flowers. So yes, she did go through the trouble of watercoloring all of those. And it is just, just lovely. Thank you so much, Miss Camille. So those are all of the ones from the Crafting with Debbie Facebook group. And now I can move on to the Foiling Snobs Club. So first we have a card from Letty Almeida. In an, oh, first the envelope in an envelope. And this is a Father's Day card and just look at that. She made she basically texturized this to make it look like leather. And she had she said that she had fun making it and included a couple more die cuts. So these looks like it was done with a <coughs> an embossing folder, which I think I have, and then she die cut those out. And that is so nice. Actually, one was with that and the other one was a different um, embossing folder that I think I have as well. The other one's like gears. So I think both of these are Tim Holtz. So that is pretty interesting. And it looks like this is actually, that's tin, that's a, a metallic. This looks like it's metallic cardstock, but this one looks like it's actual metal. So that is super nice. So thank you so much for that, Letty. And then the next person we have is Carly. This is Miss Carly Randolph. And that's another real pretty Father's Day card. Done with a bunch of foiling. And this, the foil that she used for the Father's Day has got little stars on it. I think that's maybe one of the ones that I just recently got from Blue Bonnet. Kind of looks like one of the um, silver Blue Bonnet ones that I've got. Okay, and then I've got one from Miss Cynthia Johnson. And I can already see some gold foil there. Just have to be careful not to rip anything. That is lovely. So she used some die cuts and I've got this paper too and haven't figured out how to use it yet. So I'm gonna have to give that one a try before long. That is just lovely. Okay, she says, I've enclosed a sticker to put on the envelope. So this, this is embossed, but she basically made a sticker and embossed that. This is lovely. That is just so, so, so pretty. Thank you so much, Miss Cynthia. Okay, and then the last one I have is from Miss um, Debbie Wilson.
And it's another Father's Day card. This one has, looks like it has kind of a travel theme, adventure awaits. That is nice. I like that. That is so cool. Okay, so it looks like I missed a couple of cards. Both of these are from um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Costa Rogers. And one is from last month. So we've got the May and the April swaps for um, <coughs> Crafting with Debbie. So she says thank you. It was a thank you card swap for that one. And then for the one for May, it was a birthday swap. So let's go ahead and see what Miss Elizabeth created for us. Again, this one is from the April swap. <laughs> her note says that her brain and her and her my brain and I need to communicate better. I have the same kind of thing happen to me, and I'm sure the rest of us do too, especially when we get in the zone. So this is the back of her card. It's got her logo on the back, and that she made it this year. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. This looks kind of like a, a mixed media kind of thing. It looks like she's got some watercolor and stamping with this big dragonfly and has a big thank you. Looks like that is hand lettering. You are braver than I am, ma'am. I have trouble with hand lettering because I don't like my writing. Anyway, this looks gorgeous. Thank you so much. So let's take a look at the birthday swap. Again, this one is for the month of May and the Crafting with Debbie group. And looks like she has a new QR code for her site, which is kind of cool. Handcrafted by Elizabeth 2020. Oh, and that is pretty with all the hexagons and paisleys. That is that is lovely. Pinks and browns and and glittery card stock all popped up. So that is pretty. So thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. I appreciate it. And as usual, I don't have enough room on my desk <laughs> for you to be able to see everything, but these are super cute. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking a look at all of these magnificent projects that were sent to me as part of a couple of different swaps. I hope that they inspire you to get creating because I always say, if I can make it, and I figure if these ladies can do it, you can too. Thank you so much again for joining me and have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy crafting.